In this video, we're going to give you an introduction on creating character dies. Ah, so let's first talk about the distinction between dies and gear sets. I'll start with gear sets. Gear sets are model changes to the character. So it might be adding a bunch of armor, new weapons, basically model geometry changes. For instance, here's Ace's base gear set. As you can see, it kind of looks, um, you know, you're familiar with Ace. This is kind of his normal look. Other gear sets you can acquire are this one. You can see the models change. You got much bigger weapons. It's kind of a Viking gear set. Here's an Executioner Ace gear set. Again, models changed. Wearing a different hat. He's got an axe. Um, got this gear set, which it's you know it's much bulkier. He's got the mohawk helmet on. And uh, again, that's just the distinction there is it's model changes. It's new models. A lot of times it might be new animations and rigging. All right, let's talk about dies. Dies are either color or just 2D alterations to a gear set's texture. It can be a base gear set's texture or one of the upgraded gear sets. The difference is you're only editing the actual texture itself. So for instance, you can see the geometry is not changing between these dies, but the actual the colors and textures are. Dies are a great way to add variety to a unit's look. You can do a lot with only texture changes. Okay, let's make a die. So first, go ahead and load the model of the character you want to make a die for. So in this case, I'm going to load up a little chaos golem. And he should be in NPCs. Most all the units are in NPCs. Occasionally a spell is going to be in the items folder. So here's the chaos golem. And you want to open the model.mdf that's in the root of his folder. That's usually the proper, the proper model. So there he is. So let's go ahead and make a red, a red die for him. Okay, so let's just name it Red Chaos and create mod. That's going to set up the mod, it's going to initialize it and create a folder. And now what you need to do is you need to switch the type to a die. What that's going to do is going to give you this export model textures button. So click that. It's going to take a minute while it generates all the textures. It's basically copying the textures from the game directory into your mod folder so you can edit them. Once that's finished, you can browse to your Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Brawl of Ages, Mods folder. And there'll be a folder there with the name of the mod you just created. So go into there and you'll start to see the directory structure of the game. And here's all the files. So we're going to open this in Photoshop. And we're going to do something just real simple with this one. So I'm just going to select a color range. Just going to grab all the yellow. And let's try image adjust, use saturation, let's try colorize it all. Let's just change them kind of red purpley here. And save it. Now as long as you save over that file and it's the proper name, it should update in the game. You're going to want to do something way more creative and cool than this. I'm just showing you this as an example. Next thing we need to do is create a preview. So sometimes you gotta hit this button twice to get it to work the first time. So as you can see, updating the preview is gonna take a screenshot of the model viewer. So if you if you remember in the model viewer tutorial, I kind of said there's a few hidden commands. So one of the commands is MV cam FOV. And that's gonna change the field of view. If you change it to something like 20, you're gonna have to zoom out now, but you're gonna get a much, uh, it's not gonna be as distorted when you do the preview. I think that pretty much gives you a better preview when you do that. So once the preview is done, let's you know let's name it something proper: Red Chaos Golem. Make sure you hit Enter, and we should be able to upload the mod now. So just hit Upload Mod. It's going to take a little while to upload all those files. All right, so we got items successfully uploaded. Close that, and you're going to see View in Steam. Click that, and it's going to show you your page. This is where you can edit any settings, you know, rename the title if you want. And if you're ready, you can just uh, change visibility to public. And that's it, it should show up in the uh, list. The most appealing dyes are going to have some sort of a theme, something that sets them apart from other dyes that are just tinted with the color. So here's the Brawler Bomber. As an example, rather than simply tinting his color, it would be far more interesting to see a World War I Red Baron theme. We're interested to see what you guys can come up with. 